Hello everyone. Now we know force of attraction between the objects is called gravitational force. But the question is why isn't the moon falling on earth? Though we hear that satellite falls on earth. Sir Isaac Newton had the answer for this question. He said every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force. So, moon is also attracting the earth. This attraction force decreases with the increasing distance. Because of 384,404 km distance between the earth and the moon, the earth's gravitational influence over moon is not as strong as it is on a bird flying in the sky. But the earth's gravity is strong enough to stop moon from moving away and forces it to move in a circular or elliptical path the gravitational force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the two bodies if an object has greater mass it will experience more gravity more mass means it is made of more particles earth attracts every particle this means the object with greater mass will experience more pull so the heaviness of an object is itself the measurement of how strongly the earth is pulling it newton said that attraction between the two objects is proportional to the product of their masses so if two objects with mass m1 and m2 are attracting each other then that attraction would be proportional to the product of m1 and m2 a fat person has a greater mass so he experiences more gravitational pull hence he is heavier more mass means more gravitational pull if we sum up everything we have learned we get every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them the force is along the line joining the centers of the two objects say if the two objects with mass m1 and m2 respectively are attracting each other and the distance between them is d d is actually the distance between their centers the force of attraction between the two objects would be f and this is proportional to product of m1 and m2 divided by the square of distance between them that is d square or you can say f is equal to g multiplied by m1 multiplied by m2 divided by d square here g is the constant called universal constant so remember this is the universal law of gravitation every object in the universe attracts every other object with a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of distance between them the force is along the line joining the centers of the two objects so that was all about universal law of gravitation